The Talon Banner picnic area is where this walk begins, the Warri Circuit. It's about 14 kilometers, recommended time five to six hours. Usually I'm a little bit quicker, so we'll see how we go. But it's meant to, it's meant to be a huge amount of waterfalls on this walk, maybe seven or eight at least. And apologies for the lens fogging up, it's a little bit chilly this morning. Yeah, let's go. Just passed a very ominous looking warning sign telling me about the dangers of this walk. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be right. But I've come to Rainbow Falls, which is a cool little waterfall which I get to walk behind. The track goes back around there. Since leaving Gumalara Falls, maybe about 15 minutes ago, track conditions have become a bit more challenging. Uh, it's becoming a little bit more overgrown, uh, a little bit rocky underfoot, a little bit narrower. But that's good, you know. Um, it's nice to have a track that's a bit more of a challenge, not just, you know, easy walking. The scenery's been top notch as well, you know, lovely patches of rainforest, excellent views out down the valley towards the coast. And I'm probably only about 4Ks in. <laughs> Made it here to uh, Nari Dum Falls. Uh, there's not much water flowing, but it's a really impressive kind of amphitheater location. As well as the waterfalls, there's been an impressive array of forests to enjoy. So lots of palm trees, big ukes, strangler figs. I want to say red cedars, but I'm actually not totally sure to be honest. Uh, yeah, lovely walking as I gradually descend down into the valley. Right, here I am at Meeting of the Waters. I'm probably just over halfway into the walk and it's been about two hours or so, so decent time. Uh, this is where numerous different creeks all come together to form the Little Narang Creek, which I assume heads out towards Narang. <laughs> cool little spot. It's uphill from here.
not too much to report at this stage it's been a steady climb up from the river um, not too steep so it's been pretty enjoyable really uh, a few stinging trees making an appearance but they're not very abundant thankfully uh, we're approaching a couple more waterfalls in the next few switchbacks which should be good Okay, I've made it to the base of Blackfellow Falls. Here they are. Now I can either go left up there under the cliffs back to the car park or I can go right under the waterfall and then head up to the top of the cliffs to get back to the car. I think I'm gonna go right. Unfortunately, my camera decided to run out of battery at the pointy end of this walk, so this photo will have to suffice. The circuit was a fantastic one, which I definitely recommend for those capable of it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.